there was a segment I've been trying to introduce, and uh, it is, it's called... That's good. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> so uh, we're going to run this one, and since John is the voice of positivity, he'll read off the good ones, and I'll read off the bad ones. Pavel Butchnevich last night scored his fourth goal of the season. That's good. Unfortunately, it was two weeks ago, and that was the last time a top six forward scored a goal. Ooh, that's bad. So the Rangers have allowed fewer than three goals in every game in regular or in regulation in every game this month until last night. That's good. But the Rangers haven't scored. They actually have a negative goal differential and have been outscored 14 to 11. Ooh, that's bad. And the Rangers allowed their first power play goal of the month. They ranked ninth in the league in penalty kill from 23rd last year. That's good. The Rangers' power play also hasn't scored since the first of this month. They went from seventh in the league to now 28th. And somebody predicted them to have the number one power play unit. He's an idiot. That's a bad one. Ooh, that's bad. And this month, Igor Shosturkin has had a minimum of a 933 save percentage in every game except last night's game. That's good. And he only has two wins. Two wins. Can we get some goal support, please? Just, <laughs> just, yeah, just, just a little bit, please. Just oh. Oh. Ooh, that's bad. Oh. I guess it's just where... So I got to ask the question. Do you think the New York Rangers can actually make a playoff run? Because a lot of analysts keep saying the Rangers got to run in them. <laughs> Does a bear crap in the woods? No. The bear absolutely craps in the woods, but it's not happening. It's, I was, you misused that metaphor. Yeah, I, I, I definitely misused that metaphor. But yeah, no. Okay. All right. So it, 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 I should say, do you think the Rangers are going to miss the playoffs? Does the bear crap in the woods? Yes. The Rangers are yes. missing the playoffs. They're, they are not making it at all. Um, you would have to play, like I said before, you'd have to play 750 hockey going forward. They're, we're already a quarter of the season through, and they just look terrible. Barring some miracle, they are absolutely not making it. And I'm not going to sit here and say tank, 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 but I'm going to tell you right now, another high pick would do more for this team than trying to make a run and missing a playoffs. There's a difference between tanking and playing young players because you're trying to see what you got. This team's got to do a lot of evaluation. And this is even before the crop of forwards are coming up, uh, of the prospects that they got. But they got to figure out, is Levor Hayek going to be an NHL player? Is uh, Rionanen or... You got it. Yeah, I did. I did. Woo. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Rionanen, is, is he meant to be in this league? Is he going to be like a, a, another quality defenseman that they're going to have back there because never forget their rebuild in 2010 was based from the defense out and then it had some forwards like Callahan and Dubinsky who were already there Stepan who just showed up um and they were getting Carl Haglin they were getting Jesper Fast they were JT Miller was on his way so it, it's you, you got to start seeing what you got and they're not leapfrogging three more teams uh, that's no. not happening. No, you're right. And that's my biggest problem with David Quinn. And it, you know what? It, and honestly, I want the guy to succeed. Why do, Why would any Ranger fan want to see the coach fail? We want to see the team do well. But mm-hmm. why is he not playing the guys and trying to work with them instead of chastising them and, and benching them every time one of them makes a mistake? Like, you remember the Calgary game last year where Kako had the two goals, right? Kako has the two goals, and then he gets benched because of a borderline penalty that shouldn't have even been called. How, how is anybody supposed to learn that way? How, how? No. You, you're not, you're not going to learn that way. Give the players chances to play. Let them learn. And I don't know if you saw the practice lines today for the power play units. Oh, God. The center. No, go ahead. You even have a center on it. There's no There's... center on the second unit. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh. I I because I, I gotta tell you, this is um one of the more telling things when when I look at it is uh last Friday the, the Rangers played the Bruins. They're down one nothing. They got a power play with uh, I think it was a minute and thirty remaining. And because um because I'm a bartender by trade, I didn't get a chance to look up and see what the score is. I was too busy doing my job. But then I watched a condensed game. I watched the highlights. They I saw the penalty. I then saw Adam Fox picking up the puck as time expired. There wasn't a highlight on a six on four. There wasn't a scoring chance. There wasn't anything that they could have done. You got to be kidding me. And part of it is exactly what we're, we've been talking about for a while. Bruins won the faceoff, shot it all the way down. Rangers couldn't get in the zone. I mean, the faceoffs are a big problem, obviously. And hello, Mika Zibanejad. Any Anytime you want to win a faceoff this century, but please let us know because we could use a win or two in the offensive zone. But it, here's the power play setups that they were running in practice today. And let's see how galaxy brain this sounds for everybody. So the first power play unit was Fox, Panarin, Mika, Strom, and Kreider. That's four righties and a lefty. Second unit is Keandre Miller, Pablo Bocinavich, Alexi Lafreniere, Capo Caco, and Brendan Lemieux. Why is Brendan Lemieux on power play two when you have Julian Gauthier, who is bigger, stronger, faster, and more skilled? Like, I get that they're looking for that Adam Graves presence that they've lacked for 20 years now. But Brendan Lemieux is not big enough, skilled enough, fast enough, or strong enough to be that guy. He's a fourth-line grinder. You have a guy that was a first-round draft pick that you traded Joey Keane for. Use the guy on power play, too. And for the love of God, please stop putting four lefties or righties on one unit break them up put put yeah. near or Kako on the first unit and put strong on that second unit it, it, it's also it's it's screaming into the void to be like uh move move one of those guys over there because there isn't a one-time option with uh no. ryan strom on the left side on the right on the right side you get that with Capo Caco. And again, if you look at his scouting footage, that was his spot. That was his spot at the beginning of last year. It was Ryan Strom in there. Caco had uh, six goals in the first six weeks. It wasn't by accident. And yes, we could talk about all the problems he had last year. But get the power play back. That's that's number one. I mean, good job on the penalty killing. Good job at reducing the shots on goal. But there's two things you can't help but point out with this team right now. And that's they, their power play has disappeared. And yeah. speaking of things that disappear, they do in the third period. When was the last time the Rangers were the best team in the third period? The Pittsburgh game, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I, I, would, I yeah. would say that Pittsburgh game that they actually won. Yeah. It can't do that forever. No, it's, it, it's just, can't, can't be the worst team in the third period. And it's not even uh, like if you want to argue that they're always coming from behind. They're not coming from behind. Half the time they got the lead. Yeah, and they're blowing leads left and right. And they, they blew a two-goal lead against Pittsburgh. Yeah. It's always so many times like, where you could say uh, that the, it, you get hard walk losses. No, your Bill Parcells said it best. You are where your record says you are. Did you like that video? Of course you did. So why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here or right here or right here if I put it over my face.